Just over a year ago, I, I started to get some pains outside of my left ribs. And I know now that it was a lymph node that was um, swollen. And every time you pressed it, it was just like, mm, that's, that's uncomfortable. So I went to hospital for a scan. The ultrasound picked up a sort of a shadow. And they said to me, it's uh, cancer and it's in the pancreas. And uh, we are referring you to the Royal Master. The first thing you think is, oh my God, I'm going to die. And then it's like, um, how long have I got? And then you think of your family and, and friends and pets as well. I don't like worrying people. I don't really want the attention on me. I'm just not that sort of person. When you initially had your scans early last year, you could see that there was a fairly big tumour within this part of your pancreas. All right. The good news is that it has responded very well to the treatment. It has gone down from four and a half centimetres down to a centimetre. It does give us the opportunity to think about an operation. Okay. We're going to remove probably around about 50% of your pancreas. Okay. The difficulty for us is going to be the vein. There's a blood vessel that comes from the bottom part of your tummy and runs up to your liver. This is called the portal vein. So this supplies around about 80% of the blood to your liver. And we could see on the original scans the tumour had actually wrapped itself around this particular blood vessel. That's part of the thing that adds the risk to this particular operation. Before the operation, I think for me, it's a psychological wait, really. Particularly the morning before, your mind will keep going back to, how am I going to do it? If this happens, what will I do? If I encounter this, will I stop? Will I go ahead? How about if something really terrible happens? How am I going to get myself out of this problem? It's having plan A, B, C, D in your mind before you go in. Once we divide Janet's pancreas, we're going to send a sample of to our pathology colleague to make sure that area is clear of any tumour. So this is an operation that does make you sweat. Um, there's going to be three or four important steps that we're going to have to make. Once we've made those, there's no way back. This is the pancreas. I mean, it's really, really shrunken. There's quite a lot of reaction here to the radiotherapy, quite a lot of inflammation. So we just have to go a bit carefully, a bit slowly here. Bloody hell. There's vein involvement here. Ooh, rock. It feels pretty stuck. <sighs> okay, let's have a look at that. That's where we're going to have to divide if we want to get a clear margin. Yeah. When we're trying to get the pancreas off the vein, we've had a bleed into the main vein. So we've just controlled that with sutures. It's getting a bit risky here. I think we should divide everything now. It's, it's, gonna, it's getting unsafe. We're getting into bleeding, we can't get control. We're almost there now. We're almost at the point where we're gonna take the cancer out. The, the cancer now is hanging on the last thread. That is the specimen. That area there is the pancreas. It's completely rock solid from the radiotherapy. Just can't wait to start putting my life back together. There's some things that I'd like to do. I want to get back on a horse as soon as possible. There's places that I want to go, sort of around the Devon coast. Clovelly, I want to go back there one day. I'd love to be able to take my mum. That'd be nice. There's just dozens and dozens of things. It's just that I want to do this and I want to do that and I want to do everything. Hello. Hey. Hello there. You're looking very well, Jenny. So, Jane, I've got some good news for you. OK. When we've had a look at what we sent at the time of the operation, it's all clear. Fantastic. Brilliant. OK, that's the best news I could wish for. Thank you so much. OK, hello. OK, all right. Take care. All right, bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Hello. You 
doing? Yeah, I've got some news for you. Yeah? I've spoken with Mr Bogle and uh, he's now said that I'm uh, cancer free. Oh, it's good news. So, I, don't know, I just want to go and shout and tell everybody, I'm free, I'm free. <laughs> yes, that's fantastic news. Yes. Over the moon. <laughs>